Okay, trying this again. Uh, this is the second take that Tim here. Uh, uh, yes, I'm uh, coming from my new uh, computer room up. Uh, once I'd been showing, showing my collection, I had all, done, did all those uh, before I moved. We moved back in August, but uh, I had another nine to go. But then I start having computer problems and I end up losing those. So uh, now I'm uh, going again and stuff. I had to uh, put a, on a new uh, operating system on here. I think this for my laptop where I have uh, Linux on it. And well, anyway, uh, I'm. Uh, since uh, those are gone, I for I went to the to, my wife and I went to a thrift store today, and uh, I decided to look at records. I got a good stack of records, and they're going through them because I hadn't been there for a while. But I thinned it out to back down to twenty elms. I uh, because they were, they were eighty nine cents a piece and. My wife got a uh, got a casserole dish, and to have the total for all of that was like a twenty, a little over twenty dollars. So, well, with and uh, most of these elms are in uh, real clean condition and stuff. So I was surprised. Well, with that said, let me start showing you the uh, records. First one is uh, Jim Reeves had the. Uh, the Jim Reeves medley. Uh, this is just like uh, a compilation of some of the songs I think. Uh, my mom uh, used to like Jim Reeves when I was a kid, and uh, I, and uh, but he also had uh, hit with he'll have to go, which I really like. So I decided I to get it to try out. And, Next up is the classic country. Of course, it's uh, Conway Twitty and Loretta Lynn. With that name of the album is Lead Me On. So you can know, can tell by that one. And uh, you probably noticed I've been collecting uh, their stuff lately too, with them together and individual stuff. Yeah, I've been doing more. Uh, more classic country lately than the others because you find more of that in thrift stores than than like uh, the rock and pop albums. But I also like classic country music, the stuff like from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Okay, this one is Mar Marty Robbins' epilogue. And have you seen me show what Marty Robbins albums in the past? Okay, another Jim Reeves album. It's the cover's in dirty shape, but the record itself looks pretty good, in pretty good uh, condition. It's the uh, countryside of Jim Reeves. So, okay, this then I you see me showing. Uh, Compilation albums like K-Tel and stuff. Well, here's uh, another K-Tel compilation album that I didn't have. This is Superstars and Country Music. It's from 78. Okay. More of Greatest Hits from another Marty Robbins album. Okay, when I was growing up, uh, I, I was, uh, uh, I'd have, hear like some spoken word on the radio with music playing in the background of Firm and Bright, it's the sky here. This is uh, Senator Everett uh, McKinley Dirksen, and the name of the album is Gallant Men, Stories of the American uh, Adventure. and. Uh, he talks about the different stuff like the uh, story of the flag, the Star Spangled Banner, 
the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag and the start of the Statue of Liberty, and among others. Okay, another uh, Conway Twitty Loretta Lynn, this is a Saturday Night Duo. I think this might be a live album looking at it down here. This is uh, from 77 on MCA. Oh, let me get that. I have to turn off an alarm on my phone. Okay. Back to the elms. Okay, this one looked interesting too. Uh, Songs of the Cowboy. It's various artists like Gene Autry, the, the Smiley uh, Brothers, uh, Eddie Dean, Floyd Dwelling and the Writers of the Purple Sage, and Brett Adley Kincaid. Okay, this next one's uh, Chris Nolan, a group that I haven't really listened to, but they were very instrumental in the 70s and 80s. Worth well, getting uh, Chris in the Chris music scene. That's uh, Bell Gaither Trio, or Bell Gaither. Uh, was pretty influential in it. So I figured I'd get one of their albums to check out. They had a few of them there. Okay, and here's another Marty Robbins uh, singing the blues. He does a song singing the blues on here. Okay, some classical music. I think I might already have this one, but I'm not sure. It's Herbert Van Karajan with a uh, the Berliner Philharmoniker of uh, Brahms Symphony Number no. Four. It's on Deutsche Grammophon. This one was printed and made in Italy. It says on the back. And if I do have it, I'll be able to find somebody that will take it because uh, I don't like seeing. Uh, uh, Georgia uh, gramophone records being destroyed. Here's another Christian album. Uh, see, I used to have this one on cassette back in the 80s. This is Sandy Patty. You have More Than Wonderful. And uh, I, I had worn that tape out. I listened to it quite a bit. But she was a contemporary Christian artist. Okay, uh, I've seen there's plenty of Crystal Gale here. Some more Crystal Gale. It's just that simply called Crystal. This has a, like the hits on it. Out, out wood all over again. And ready for the times to get better. You never miss a real good thing till he says goodbye. And this is from 76 and United Artists. Okay. I'll show you the back of this first, show you what it is. I haven't seen one of these before. It's, uh, you notice it's uh, Deutsche Grammophon and uh, it says, uh, you know, two LP. Yes, it's a two LP box set. I, I should tell you I paid 89 for each of these because uh, I took the uh, stack to the register and they said, okay, I have, uh, have 20 albums here. I didn't notice it on the frontier and uh, and she, she didn't even look. She took me for my word there because looking at the stack. Well, this is a 2LP two, two uh, Deutsche Grammophon. It's a box set pretty much and it's a uh, Gustav Mahler, Fifth Symphony, Kinder Toten Leader, and it's uh, Herbert Van Kerr and uh, with the uh, uh, Berliner Philharmonic, I think. So I ended up getting it for 89 cents. They were wanting $1.99 for it. So. Next up, another group that I collect a lot of is another classic country. I'm sorry if I have my laptop on my legs and my legs were just getting uncomfortable. So, yep, this is the Statler Brothers. The legend goes on. 
and that's this is her um, uh, 82 um, poly, uh, or, uh, mercury and that's a uh, uh, says it's a promotional one or demo or, well I, or I should say promo here's the Eddie Arnold down that he didn't have that the last world and word and lonesome and this is um, on RCA from back in set uh, 64 you uh, see me have done a lot of his albums uh, over the past couple years or so next up this is uh, another one from my German music collection Bavarian uh, Yellow Sons and Polkas see you have uh, there's a place in Bavaria my wife and wife and I like to go to uh, you know, for our vacations when I was stationed in Germany and this was a uh, this was a Bavarian uh, a town in the Bavarian Alps right by uh, Austria and but then I've been in Austria and stuff and that some of these hotels and stuff they get uh, like polka bands playing at them and that's how I got uh, really interested in polka my mom used to listen to watch listen and watch to polka albums and watch polka on TV when I was a kid, but yeah, uh, it was uh, uh, being over in Germany and Austria where I got to like the polka. Okay, here's a couple guys that I tried to collect their records. Uh, Chet Atkins and Hank Snow running this, and this is from '64 on RCA also, and. Uh, And uh, the last but not least, this another Jim Reeves one. He'll have to go. And of course, I said I like that song, so I decided to pick it up too. Well, that's all I have for this time. So until next time, take it easy and keep on rocking. <laughs>